Hi, this is a short video to show you how to calculate an age group. Um, once you know what an age is, we can um, classify each person into a specific age group. So the first thing we need to do is set up a list of related ages and age groups. So I've set up a separate page here called Setup. So if we go in there, here's one I made earlier. Um, the first column here has got the ages in. The second column has got the age groups that I want to classify them as. Um, so what you'll notice here is the uh, this list has the starts with the the youngest age so it starts with zero and that's the youngest age someone would be to be under the, in the under 18s group then the youngest age they would be to be in the 18 to 21s will be 18. so this is the trick to making this work is that this column here this first column in within the range has to be the youngest age for each of the age groups okay um you can edit these as much as you need to and um, once you've got that set up i would give that a named range so i'd literally highlight the cells included so there's two columns the first column is the one that's got the age in the second one will be the the age group that we're trying to find so i've not included the headers i'm literally just highlighting from b4 to c11 and then i'm click into this box here which is the name box and we can type in the name of the range so i would call that age um name ranges don't like spaces or characters so i just put capital g for the next word and type it in group okay when you finish press enter and that then saves that name range um as age group so that's done we can go back to the data sheet and we can start putting in the formula into these yellow cells so in the first cell here the formula we're going to use is called a vlookup formula and the v in vlookup stands for vertical and that's because the list we're going to look down is a vertical list going down the page okay we can also use a h lookup which would be if we had a list going horizontally across the page but that's kind of rare um so um the vlookup in the formulas ribbon go to insert function and type in the lookup into that box at the top. If you spell it right, it'll find it quicker. <laughs> click go. There it is. There's your function. You can click OK and it will then take you to the wizard. So what the wizard does is it populates the formula within the cell itself and you can see it building up there. We just fill in these four little boxes and it will populate the formula for us. So the first thing I want to know is what is the lookup value? So this means, um, what do you want it to look for? So here we want it to look for this value in cell E3. So I'm literally clicking on the cell E3, or I could have just typed E3 into that cell as well. This next box wants to know what the table array is. So this one wants to know where you want it to look. So I want it to look in the named range that we've created. So because we have a named range, we can then press F3 on the keyboard, and that will give us a list of all of the name ranges. So there's all, we've only got one name range, so we can select it so it goes blue and click OK. So now this formula is saying, find the value from E3, i.e. 81, look within the range of age and group, and then this cell here, in this, this box, sorry, this wants to know which column we want the answer. So when it matches E3 within our range of age groups, can look in that first column, remember, we want it to give us an answer from the second column. So in here, I can just put in a number two for column number two. Okay, now in this box, it wants to know basically true or false. So false will return an exact match. But as we know, we don't have the number 81 exactly in that list. Um, so we can't use false because it, it wouldn't return an answer. So here we need to use true, which basically means it will find the nearest, the nearest number to 81 that it can, which is exactly how we're going to get into groups. So if I just click OK, it gives me the answer that age 81 is in the 80 plus group. And then I can just drag that formula all the way down and it will populate for all of those ages. So you can see that age 58 is in the 50 to 60 category, age 69 is in the 60 to 70 category, age 19 is in the 18 to 21, and age five is in the under 18s. Fab. Um, if you have any changes to your age groups, you can literally just tweak now um, that list, making sure that that list is in numerical order, um, and the formulas will automatically populate. Okay, hope that helps.